All right, so this is Super Mario Land DX. This is a patch for the original Super Mario Land ROM, original black and white Game Boy game, that turns it into a Game Boy Color game. A simple little patch basically turns the original Super Mario Land into a Game Boy Color remaster. Or what a DX version would have been with, like, you know, they had um, A Link to the Past DX and Tetris DX. And if they really would have continued on with that, bringing back the old Game Boy games to the Game Boy Color, this is basically what we would have got. Um, I'm going to have the links to the patch files down below, but you will need the corresponding ROM files to patch. It's pretty easy to do. I used an IPS patcher called Lunar IPS, and it's very simple. You tell it where your ROM file is, you tell it where your patch file is, it spits out a new ROM file for you. I was able to put those ROM files on my EverDrive, and boom, they work on a real Game Boy Color. Super Mario Land uh, DX here does have some performance issues, um, from what people are saying, and I'm pretty sure I can notice this myself. It's not running as smooth as the original does, so for some reason this patch uh, is causing a performance issue, which is a little bit strange because in Super Mario Land 2 DX here, there's really no performance issues. Um, the game runs, as far as I can tell, as far as I remember, the game runs you know, at the same performance rate that the original did. The original had slowdown here and there. This is going to have slowdown here and there. But it's not running at a slower frame rate overall like Super Mario Land DX seems to be. With Super Mario Land 2 DX here, they did make some additional little changes. Not just adding color graphics. Um, you know, they've also got the option to play as Luigi now. So pressing select will switch to Luigi. And... <laughs> You can play Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins, with Luigi. How cool is that? I think these look outstanding, and especially Super Mario Land 2 DX here, without any really drawbacks. Um, you've got a Game Boy Color remastered version of the original, all with a simple patch file. It's very cool. So. Props to the guy that did this, I think it's Torres or something like that, is how you would pronounce it. Uh, but, you know, obviously he did all the work on this, and I just get to show it off. Running on a real Game Boy Color with my EverDrive cartridge. So, definitely check this one out. Definitely check both of these out. Um, if you've got the original ROM files, patch them. And uh, if you don't have an EverDrive, you can play these on uh, an emulator. So there you go, definitely worth checking out. These are very cool.